Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to the dreaded subways of our post-apocalyptic future. Today, we're going to be playing a game called Until We Die. The best way to describe this one is it takes a lot of inspiration from something like Kingdom, where you have to build a side-scrolling settlement and survive an onslaught of enemies. Except in this one, we are living in the sewers. Actually, more specifically, the subway systems. And the world has gone to hell with these plague-like mutant creatures. It looks absolutely fantastic, and it's supposed to be a lot more hardcore than something like Kingdom. So we're going to do our best today and uh, survive, of course, until we die. Okay, we got to start off by choosing our main character. So there's currently two in the game. I should mention this is early access, so it is in development. But we have Ivan here who has a powerful shot. Every fifth round in his clip is explosive. That actually sounds fantastic. And then Anna uh, restores stamina when she picks up food. You know what? I know there's going to be a lot of running in this game. I feel like the defense of Ivan might make more sense for me, though. I'm very much going into this blind. And as I said, it's going to be pretty hardcore. So we'll see how we can do. And we're going to do a normal game. And let's get into that subway system. Here we go. <laughs> this is... I love the art style. This is so cool. Well, good way to start. Just, you know, blowing up everything. Okay, well, you help me get some scrap so I can fix the hand car. Goddamn right I will. So I have played just a little bit just to know how to play, but it's very much like Kingdom. You direct your guys on what to do, so we're going to make them look for scrap. We have all these little scrap spots here. Can these... Can this guy loot this stuff yet? No. Okay, but now that we have that, we can pay. Again, uh, taking a lot of inspiration from uh, something like Kingdom. Pancar is on the move. I'll be back tomorrow with more reinforcements. And that's kind of how we get reinforcements from what I've seen. Uh, we need the generator, indeed. All right, we got everybody repairing that. Generator started. We can set up our camp. Now we need to improve our defenses by building a wall. Okay, let's go do that. So I do have a sprint bar. I'm hoping now it's more open world because I'd like to do multiple things. Yeah, there we go. We can get him to build. Actually, we can get him to build once we get enough scrap. I thought I grabbed more scrap than what I did. Clearly, I used it all on that rail cart. Okay, let's get this guy. We just want one. Actually, we'll get two working on that, one working on this. This game takes a lot more micromanaging from what I've seen uh, compared to Kingdom. So you're constantly dealing with trying to keep these guys as busy as possible. It's safe behind the wall now. Let's make a shovel workshop. Ah, uh, yeah, the shovel guys will do a lot of these stuff really quickly. We don't have enough of the cog wheels yet. So right now, we just need these guys looting. I know I'm going to need food soon, and we love our mushrooms in this game. So I was hoping... Can he not... Okay, so he can't get food yet. Maybe I need the shovel guy to do that? I think because I'm in the tutorial, it's making me do certain things. So yeah, I can't even loot these things right now. That's a little frustrating because it's going to slow down my progression, but that's okay. And there we go. The workshop is operational. I love that the uh, things actually attach to the generator. Um, we're going to send one person to the workshop. I think they'll work there now. And I think now we're officially out of the tutorial. And look, look, look at this. He's back. Um, if you buy me food, I'll get you volunteers and scrap. So we want to get him getting as many volunteers as possible. So let's get right on that food. And now we're, yeah, we're in the open setting. So now I'm going to have to do a lot of running around because I want to manage everybody, obviously. And now we get our first bonus for upgrading the generator as well. We can either do agitator or sheltered net network. They're both really good. I think I'm going to do sheltered network. Perfect. This guy's done his food job. Come here, buddy. Let's get you starting to dig more. Uh, looking at the top. It's looking like we're midday right now, so we have lots of time. We don't need to freak out just yet. I would like to get this rail cart sent out by the end of today. That way we can get one tomorrow. So I'm hoping, yes, perfect. That's what I wanted to see. Some more mushrooms here. We'll get this guy building this. So we have, oh crap, that was on the same side. So we're going to have two walls on one side. We should probably build a wall on the other side too. That was a bit of a mistake. The fog is thinking, let's fall back behind the walls. Okay, I didn't build a wall on the one side. So we'll put uh, some people to defend this side. I thought it told me I could put them on the flag here. Maybe it's a special unit. No, I can't seem to put them on the flag. So hopefully they don't come this way. I really got to defend the other side though. Okay, so let's get this guy to build this. And I'm just going to defend him. I'm hoping... <laughs> oh God, they actually are coming this way. Okay, well, a little bit of a mistake to only do a fence on one side, but we're okay. We, 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 got, we got it done. I think that should be it, hopefully. I'm going to go to the other side to make sure they're not destroying my walls. We'll also pay this guy to go. We have enough food for that, so we should get a guy hopefully early tomorrow. Let's also get this. The, the, these are those braziers, so we should get 
Um, so the limits increase. Do we get an extra one though? Yes. And so this is a tramp. I don't know. I don't know what a tramp does, but I think he's part of our group now. And now I have some stamina boosting areas where I can utilize that because get, getting stamina in this game is ridiculous. Are you still building this? My God, dude. All right, there we go. We at least have a wall on every side. I'm going to let him go out here. I don't know what would be here, but he's going to whack that for a bit, I guess. All right, let's see what this is too. That might just be um, some scraps. So that side's all busy. We got one new shovel, so hopefully we'll get a new guy soon. Let's go see what's going on on this side. I think we'll just grab this guy for right now. I just have to make sure every night I put them back. But I want to be collecting as much as possible. It looks like there's possibly a tramp hiding behind this. So we might grab that in a little bit. I'm not too worried about that just yet, though. This, this is feeling pretty good. I feel like I have a good baseline. I don't know what this is. Should we do this? I think, yeah, I'm going to need somebody to build that. So we'll just have to wait. So there we go. We'll build that. And perfect timing. I have a volunteer. Now let's go grab these guys as well and hopefully loot something. Ooh, what's this? Can I... Is, is, is this... Oh, we, we can actually loot him? That's horrifying. All right, I want to keep going this way, possibly. Oh, yeah, this guy's still working on this. I almost forgot about you. You know what? Let's get multiple people out here. We'll see what that unlocks. That one's taking pretty much all day. I got to make sure I grab these guys by the end of the day, though. So we'll have to come back. There is so much traveling in this game. I regret maybe not getting the other main character with the stamina boost. Because this is ridiculous. Okay, we got food. All right, you come back. And we'll just get this guy to defend tonight. This person should almost be done. I don't have time to wait. Oh, perfect. Good timing. What the hell is this thing? Oh, I think this is the engineer station, possibly. So we'll get to him working there. Yeah, they're great support. They can study technologies in the laboratory, unlocking new station improvements. Okay, so there's like a tech tree from what I can understand. They can also build every time a structure and will pass or repair any wall they are stationed at. Okay, wow. So I got to station not only the shovel guys at walls, but engineers to repair as well. All right, looks like everybody is back. So do they automatically come back at night? I can't build wh whatever this is. I can build this, though. Should I try and build it? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's get this done. Mutant spotted on the left wall. Okay, left should be defended. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Holy crap. God, they spawn right on top of me. Help me. Oh, God. Okay, run, 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 run. I am way too bloody right now. Just run. Okay. Okay, okay, there we go. I should have did that first. I did not realize how hardcore day two would be. Are you okay? I'm, I'm gonna heal up here. <laughs> I almost died day two. Looks like the other side did okay, but we gotta get engineers as quickly as possible. So actually speaking of that, let's grab this guy. I think I need to loot this box before I can send this guy off again. So I gotta send that guy off right away. That was horrifying. Okay, this guy's done. That means, yes, I can get this guy out of here. Please go get me a resident as quickly as possible. Okay, I think that's more than far enough this way. So we just build a second wall. I think I'll just put one guy here. Just in case I forget to come back. You know what? Let's build whatever the hell that is, too. I wanted one more guy over on the other side. We should actually make this guy an engineer, I think. So we only have one working on the left-hand side, so that doesn't really make much sense. Um, Actually, I think I need an engineer to work there, don't I? So if we get him to do this... Wait, do I need an engineer for this, too? What the hell does this do? Oh, that, that puts away the tools, so you can move the tools. Cool. All right, but I'm going to put an engineer on this, and I believe that's how we can upgrade our systems here. So we got to get a guy doing that as much as possible. And now I still only have one guy on the left-hand side. Jesus. Mutant spot on the left wall. Okay, we'll throw this here. I think he'll be able to deal with them. Maybe I should stay here. Yeah, you know what? Let's just help him out. I don't want this wall to break again. And do I have enough? Yes. Get out once again. I need all the residents I can get. Oh, do I have a tool yet? No. How long is it? It's almost done. Okay, you're just going to chill with me for the time being. All right, welcome, Engineer 2. We'll throw you over here. Looks like we just got attacked, actually. What is this? I wonder what this one is. I think being that we got attacked, we should be okay. So I'm going to bring... I wish I could only bring one at a time. That's kind of annoying. But I want to keep an engineer on this side repairing this. And okay, that's just more cogs. Um, I want to build this house. And I want to get one more wall on this side by the end of today. Because yeah, I got three on one side, one on the other. Doesn't really make sense. So yeah, I am learning when they're done their job, they go back to the closest wall, which is actually great. I don't have to worry so much about these residents being dumb and staying out of our fortified walls. 
I'm just going to let right do its thing. There's only one shovel guy over there. And again, we're going to focus on getting left done today. And there we go. We got another resident coming in. Thankfully, we're doing okay for food. Still don't really understand how this works. I'm assuming I'm supposed to grab something here. I can't seem to do that right now, though. Maybe I need an engineer to do that. I have no idea, honestly. All right, but there we go. I think that would be a wall right there. Well, he's doing the wall. Let's get more of these resources. What else do we got over here? Oh, great. Uh, elk roasts are very tenacious. We'll have to chop them with shovels or burn them. Oh, well, that's convenient. I have lots of shovel, guys. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, the technology just automatically happens as long as we got somebody on that machine. So, diggers gather supplies faster. That's actually, uh oh, huge. Does that mean something, someone's coming? I think that's what that means. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, you scared me, engineer. Jesus. What is this thing? Even the spot on the left wall. Okay, perfect. We'll throw some guys on the left wall. And here they come, boys. Are you guys not going to help? Okay, they have to be like right in melee range. That kind of makes sense. I wonder if we can get range based units. I'm assuming we can. Uh, what do I have to do here? I have to give them. Oh, that's what those are for? So I have to give them like potions. I guess that gives them the juice he needs. I don't know. All right, day five. We're going to continue venturing this way. Engineer, you can just stay at home. This guy, you know what? I want you to attack. Let's actually loot this first, but I want to attack these blobs today. See if they give me anything. Let's just do it now. Oh, my God. Okay, I guess I don't need them. Oh, I'm a little nervous. This is the furthest I've gone. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll just let him chill. I don't want to waste my day trying to kill massive monsters a million miles away from my base. Day five's almost done. Taking a little risk here, trying to get a third wall done on the left side. And I think we should have time, hopefully. Worst case, well, we run back like we did before. Hopefully not almost die this time. Oh, right wall? Okay, well, that's good. Right, right wall has two on it. Uh, choose a bonus for expanding borders by six walls. Oh, my God. I, I like these random upgrades. So we're going to have flash bang traps at each of our walls or the last stand. Mutants attacking the generators will be blown up by a mine. I feel like the last stand's a smarter idea because all the flashbangs do is stun for a short time. Don't get me wrong. That probably helps a lot, but I'd rather focus on strength at right at the end in case, you know, crap does hit the fans here. Oh my God. God, that guy comes at the worst time. Here I am fighting. I love that these guys are using car doors. All right, we have an engineer somewhere. Engineer, where are you going? All right, we got a new technology. We can build durable walls. Perfect. So I guess we'll focus on that once we repair this. Oh, oh, God. Oh, get him. Get him. Oh, God, he's shooting bombs. Maybe I should pull back. Okay, no, too, too, too late. I think we lost a the guy there. Let's get these guys healing. I think we might have lost even two there. Jesus, this is ridiculously hard already. All right, so let's upgrade this wall. Day six is here. I'm going to get the engineer doing that. Yeah, we, we lost, unfortunately, one of our units. Oh, God, I only have four cogs, too. God, that means we're going to have to get some more resources today. We'll get that done. Get this guy sent out because we're going to need more people as quickly as possible. All right, thankfully, food's not been an issue. Grab a shovel, bud. And yeah, we still got two guys here. looks like a little bit of damage on the wall. We don't have an engineer right now. So we'll make the next guy an engineer. We should probably have three engineers. One repairing each side wall. And then one doing the tech tree as well. I don't know if I want to go any further. I'm kind of nervous about this side. Obviously, the growths over here are ridiculous. Can you whack that? All right, let's, let's see what happens when they take this down. By destroying one growth, others will evolve faster and spawn additional eggs. Great. So basically, I made my life worse by destroying gross. Creatures are spawned from eggs by night. During the final wave, all gross will burst and the spawn a large number of mutants. Large individuals can be born from old gross. Now we got mutants on the left wall already. Is it nighttime? It must be. Okay, thankfully, this side should be okay. I'm going to go help the other side because they don't have an upgraded wall. Right wall destroyed, fall back. Yeah, good thing I started going over this way. I'll help, I'll help. Oh, God. Okay, I need to get an engineer. We just got the guy here, so perfect timing. I'm going to send the shovel guy to loot this so we can send this guy out as quickly as possible. We'll make this guy an engineer and bring him over to the wall. All right, so we're just going to focus on two walls on this side. I just want to get this side built up. I don't think I want to go any further because the walls, they go down so quickly. There's a huge wave of mutants coming from the left. Get ready. What the hell? Oh, it's... It's starting in the middle in the middle of the day? I didn't expect that. All right, come on, everybody. <laughs> Clearly, we're going to have to go help the left side. Thankfully, that's the upgraded side. 
I just want to go out and look, but I'm scared. I don't want to waste time, but they have to be coming, right? I mean, maybe it's prepping me for nighttime. I didn't say nighttime, I don't think. I'm just going to leave. Diggers get more experience every five days. They hit harder and dodge oncoming blows. That's actually so cool. So you don't want to lose those units. All right, I don't know why I didn't pay that guy. Oh, that's right, because I was looting it. All right, let's get this guy building. I think this is the warehouse thing I just got. That used the vast majority of my stuff. Because unfortunately, I don't have enough of the potion things to get this done. Oh, God. Oh, that's a bad sign. Oh, no. Here it comes. All right. Hold the line, boys. All right. So far, it hasn't been too bad. We got a lot of guys here, so it's quick work. This guy's repairing through the waves. The thing is, there's still the red arrow. So, oh, my God. Am I going to survive this? Holy Jesus. Pull back. Pull back, everybody. I should have upgraded this. I honestly didn't expect that. Oh, my God. What are those? The little boomers. This is not even done yet? Oh, great. Yeah, I can just select my upgrade. The outer walls will be reinforced with a tire barricade for each nightfall. Barricade durability will equal 50% of the wall durability. Barricades will reduce explosion damage. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to select that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, these guys got metal shields and bombs. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, get back. Get back. We're on the final wall. I feel like I was well fortified, too. We still have this damn boomer thing. I've killed it before. Come on, guys. I know there's no wall, but help me. Just fight. All right. I'm just going to have to tell them to attack. Attack, 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 attack. We've dealt with this before. There we go. Oh my god. David, are you okay? I feel like I should get the refugee. One tramp will join the camp. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> David is just blind. Everybody, let's go out and reinforce these walls once again. We at least survived it, but my god, we didn't... We have no walls left. Like, we, we hardly survived that. All right, guys. Well, that was a week of surviving in this underground hellhole. Uh, I gotta say... Not the easiest of games, a lot of management, but that's kind of why I like this game so much. And uh, yeah, extremely difficult to deal with both sides being attacked. So if you guys like this, we'll keep going again until we die. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and liking.